morning, the time is 6.13 a.m. The news headline. U.S. pledged to expose Boko Haram sponsors. Youth begin protest in Abuja. The news in full. Activists and revolutionists have announced plans to hold a nationwide protest on October 1st, Independence Day, in Nigeria. The protest is necessitated by nine demands, according to a statement by the Coalition for Revolution, issued on Wednesday. The statement, signed by Corps Governor Baba Ye and Co-Governor Gbenga Komolafe, was titled Poverty, Insecurity, Police Brutality, Core Organizes Actions for October. Among their demands is the recognition of those who died during the NSAS protest as national heroes with a national apology. They complained that the regime of Major General Buhari has taken the incompetence, corruption, and repressive tendencies of the country's ruling class to the height of infamy. So therefore, on October 1st, 2021, they are de uh, declared that they are going to be going on uh, a peaceful protest, you know, uh, to, so, uh, to, to commiserate with those who lost their lives during the NSAS uh, protest that happened uh, some time ago, where there was a whole lot of massacre being denied by the federal government. Also, the U.S. has actually uh, said that it would help uh, in, uh, in exposing uh, those behind the Boko Haram sponsors in Nigeria. The U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Bros. Leonard, made this disclosure at a roundtable interaction on U.S.-Nigeria military cooperation with journalists at the U.S. Embassy in Abuja, noting that discussion is going as regards this. The United States of America, USA, has expressed its readiness to help identify sponsors of Boko Haram and other terrorist groups wrecking havoc in Nigeria. This was disclosed on Monday by the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Leonard, when she was asked what would the U.S. do to help the country identify the sponsors of terrorism in the country. Leonard said, that is something we are very eager to partner Nigeria on, and I've had at least three conversations in this last month, last two months on this subject. I would like to go into details, she added. Banditry kidnapping. Masari orders shutdown of some Katsina Highways livestock market. In the face of growing insecurity, Governor Aminu Bilu Masari of Katsina State has ordered the immediate shutting down of some major Katsina highways to tame activities of bandits and other crimes in the states. The highway shutdown include Jibia Gobin Baure Road and Kankara Sheme Road linking to Zamfara State. Masari further advised all travelers plying the roads should use the Funtua Road and avoid the highways of which he has banned. Banditry kidnapping, Masari orders shut down of some casino highways and livestock. The highway shut down, as said, is Jibia Gobin Bauri Road and Kankara Sheme Road linking to Zamfara State. He also suspends transaction activities at livestock markets and the frontline local government and others as well as banning of transportation and movement of livestock to and through the states. Governor Masari gave the order in a security challenges containment order he personally signed. According to him, in the exercise of powers conferred on me by the subsection 2, section 176 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended and all other powers enabling me on that behalf, I, Right Honorable Aminu Bilu Masari, the governor of Katina State, do hereby make the following. Number one, immediate total closure of GBR Gobin Bowery Road to all motorists until further notice. Two, immediate closure of Kankara Sheme Roads to all commercial vehicles. Only private non-commercial vehicles are, are, are able to ply the road. Travelers plying those roads are advised to go through Funtua. He further said, suspension of the sale of all animals at the market of the following local government areas, Jibia, Batsari, Safana, Danmusa, Kankara, Malunfashi, Charanche, Maihadwa, Kafor, Vaskari, Sabua, Baure, Dutsima, and Kaita. 
ban transportation of cattle trucks from Katuna State to any state in Nigeria. Lorries or trucks carrying firewood from the bush are totally banned. Ban of conveying three persons or more than three persons on motorcycle and tricycle, respectively. Ban on sale of second hand motorcycles in Charanti market. Reinforcement of ban on sale of petrol on jerrycans at filling station. Reinforcement of ban on operation of tricycle and motorcycle during 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the state's capital and 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in frontline local government areas. While identified essential workers, health personnel, security personnel, and journalists were accepted. Only two designated filling stations are allowed to sell fuel of not more than 5,000 naira to motorists in Jibia, Batsari, Safana, Damusa, Kankara, and others. Governor Masari, however, noted. The time is 10.41 a.m. The analysis. As regards the security position of the country as at now, the U.S. has uh, voluntarily said that they are going to help Nigeria in identifying Boko Haram sponsors in the country. The U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, uh, Mary Leonard, had a meeting with newsmen in the nation's capital, that is in the federal capital territory, Abuja. And during an interview with the newsmen, she was asked that what are the uh, United States doing to help identify the sponsors of Boko Haram and terrorism in the country. And she said that there is, there is a whole lot going on as regards that discussion, as the U.S. themselves are eager to help Nigeria and to partner with them in the fight against terrorism. She said that she has had at least three conversations in the last two months regarding this same subject matter, and that she would not like to go into details, obviously, for security reasons. She also made mention that there are some people comparing the relationship between Nigeria and the United States to that of, uh, to that, to that of the United States and Afghanistan. She therefore says that she would like to dismiss that, that the analogy was baseless and does not match up. She said the relationship between Nigeria and uh, and U.S. is a bilateral one, different, a very strong bilateral one, different from that of Afghanistan and the U.S. That there was a particular time whereby the U.S. was losing about 3,000 Americans in Afghanistan. And that, that was the main reason why their U.S. Uh, army were sent over to Afghanistan. So this is a different construct entirely. And also a company that Governor Masari of Katina State has also banned some uh, highways, you know, from from being plied by from, by travelers and motorcycles, and also some livestock from the market. Because of the insecurity going on in the country, Governor Masari of Katina State have given some orders uh, in exercise of the power conferred on him according to his constitutional rights. He said that he has therefore banned uh, tot and, okay, total closure of Jibia Goblin Barrel Road to all motorists on the further notice. Also, he said that only private non-motorcycle vehicles are allowed to ply the Kankara Sheme roads henceforth. He also said that travelers plying those roads should pass through Funtua. And he said that he has suspended the sales of animals in the uh, uh, of all animals in the market of the following uh, local government Jibia, Batsari, Safana, Damusa, Kankara, Malunfashi, Charanchi, Mayadua, Kafor, Faskari, Sabua, Baure, Dutima, and Kaita. And he says that he, will, he, he wants everybody, uh, all residents of the state, to comply to the rules uh, that he has just said. Thanks for listening. Good morning.